Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Uh, we are Mini Pearl, the punk rock girl, and uh, we've loaded up our Humvee with a lot of items ready to go off on an adventure. And it's come up a couple of times in the, co uh, in the comments, uh, what is the goal of the series? And to be honest with you, I didn't really have one uh, starting out other than to stay alive. Um, I'd started the series when I'd only played a couple of games uh, I, I, after a long hiatus from this game. And uh, things weren't working out too well, so I really wasn't expecting to live this long. Uh, not at all. But now that we're here, um, it, it seems like it might be a good idea. I don't know about any long-term goals, but maybe we can establish some short-term ones just by looking at our character. Uh, Minnie Pearl is a punk rock girl, and um, other than finding a, a pizza place and jumping up on the table and yelling or going to a shopping mall and trying to find a record shop, um, those would be things that, that punk rock girl would do. Um, I, I don't know, I get the punk rock kind of anti-establishment thing going on with her. And uh, speaking of anti-establishment stuff, our friend Clarissa down here has asked us to go get a corporate accounting ledger. Uh, so that she can prove the corruption of the big corporations. Anti-establishment, very, very punk rock. So I thought we might spend some time here uh, going to help her out. Um, it seems like something m many would want to do, uh, would be interested in as well. Even though I guess the argument could be made that the uh, corporations, uh, the, the establishment is, is definitely no longer established. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take down any remnants. Uh, so let's go ahead and chat with her and say, yep, I found it. Uh, great, let's see. Mm-hmm. Fine, I didn't even do my own taxes, but I'm sure this will prove their guilt, even if we if we get an expert to examine it. I could use a hand with something else if I'm interested. And uh, we can get items as payment, or we can have her teach us some skills as payment. I think I want to just say I don't need any payment. Uh, because I think that'll make her like us more. And uh, since she likes us more, I can say, D, will you travel with me? And she will be more convinced to do that. Uh, yeah, we have a 100% chance on you can keep me safe and we're friends, aren't we? Uh, let's go with friends. Make a friend at the end of the world. That'll be good. And uh, you got it. I'm with you. Awesome. All right. So now she's a follower and uh, we can actually issue commands to her. Now, there's a little quirk with the next step of this chain. Uh, let's say, let's go. And, uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and get the, let's get the next quest here. Um, can I do anything for you? I have another job. Want to hear about it? Yes, I do. Now, I don't want to upset you, but I'm not sure what I can do with the accounting ledger at the moment. Well, that's fine, Clarissa. Uh, we do have a lead, though. The ledger has a safe deposit box under the regional manager's name. Guess what? Dumb sucker wrote down the combination. Come with me to retrieve the box, and you can keep any of the goodies in it. Very good. Uh, let's do that. All right. Now, I'm glad I could accept this w with her as a follower. Uh, not a problem. Uh, okay. And uh, let's go. Um, let's just uh, let's just check out what she wants us to do here. She wants us to go get a safe deposit box, which I'm assuming is probably going to be in a bank. It looks like it is right up here. Uh, so we need to travel with her up there to get the uh, safe deposit box. Now, she's a follower now, so... I should be able to issue her some commands. And um, let's see. I want to... Um, so the problem with this quest that I had before and why I was holding off on it is I've actually saw this in one of my previous playthroughs. It's that uh, she's following us right now. She will she will follow us around. But if if we accept that quest, she will follow us. But she's not considered a follower, so we can't issue these commands. Um, so as we're trying to take her through the city, she just goes and gets herself killed. Um, it's a escort quest, basically, uh, the worst kind of escort quest. But now that she's a follower, we can we can give her some commands, give her some restrictions so that she might not be so apt to go get herself uh, killed. Um, so let's change your engagement rules. Uh, attack enemies you can kill. Uh, attack enemies that I attack first. Let's do that one. Or attack only enemies you can reach without moving. Um, let's do that one. Uh, stick close to me, no matter what. She'll follow me 
at about four paces. What are the other options? Two paces? Yeah, stay close to me. Uh, don't use ranged weapons anymore because she's holding a gun and she'll just fire it willy-nilly and that'll attract more zombies. Uh, don't worry about shooting an ally. Well, yeah, worry about shooting an ally. An ally. Because that's me. I don't want you to shoot me. <laughs> and uh, don't throw grenades. Yes, definitely don't throw grenades. And uh, use... Only silent weapons. All right, that should get her a little bit more under control. And let's look at miscellaneous rules. Uh, you can pick up items. You can bash obstacles. Let's not do that. Sleep when you feel tired. Stay awake. Yeah. Uh, stay quiet. Uh, leave corpses alone. Uh, don't walk through closed doors. Uh, don't investigate noises that you can't see. And uh, that should be good, I think. Yeah, because if you don't, if you don't set those rules and she's not following, she'll just go off and do and do whatever all the time, and it's super annoying, and it just kind of gets her killed. All right, so um, it's 8.57 p.m. It's almost dark. I think I'm going to go ahead and wait until dark. Uh, Clarissa and I will we'll sit back and talk a little bit, and uh, we'll head into the city and see if we can't do her quest for her. All right, Clarissa and I have made our way into town in the Humvee. Uh, she is actually sitting in the middle right here. Uh, the little space. I was concerned she wouldn't be able to get in the Humvee because usually they'll go to the passenger seat. And since I took that out, I wasn't sure uh, what would happen. Uh, but no, she's just content to ride here on that cargo space. And uh, I'm fine with that. Um, we got to be careful, though, because uh, the seatbelt mechanics, I believe, still are a thing. In that if we hit something really hard, like a wall that stops us moving, uh, Clarissa could fly <laughs> throughout the car. So we, we want to be a little bit careful of that. Uh, we are going to make our way up to the uh, bank area. Um, I want to make a little stop beforehand, though, because uh, the banks have a lot of, like, uh, safes inside of them. Uh, once we get into the vault, I'm assuming we'll be able to make our way into the vault. Um, I do have a little bit of computer skill if there's not something else going on. Um... But in, once we get in there, there'll be safes, and to get into safes, we need uh, stethoscopes. And uh, in order to find a stethoscope, um, we need to visit probably a doctor's office. And there are a number of doctor's offices in town. None of them are conveniently located. Uh, some of these are in the middle of town. Uh, there'll be a lot of zombie activity. Uh, this one's not too bad. And then we have this one, which is kind of on the outskirts of town, so it won't be very busy. And then we could just swing around, come up here, and then hit the bank. I think that's the one I'm going to go for. And we'll just hope that it has a stethoscope in it. If it does, great. If not, uh, not so great. But, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll be fine. We can always come back to the bank. Uh, those safes aren't going to be going anywhere. Yeah, one of the reasons why I really like the Humvee is it's a very powerful vehicle, and it's very, very well armored. So we can just uh, mow over these zombie hordes, with, or zombie groups. Not really hordes, but we can just mow right over them uh, without any problems at all. Unlike the uh, other vehicles that we've gone as we hit the zombies, we're damaging headlights. Uh, there is actually no damage going on. Okay, so there's our doctor's office. There's a shocker zombie in front of it. Um, that does not make me happy, but he is kind of hanging out on the sidewalk here. So maybe we can just speed up here. Oh, we missed. We missed or we didn't hit him. Uh, let's go back for round two. All right, I think we got him. Shocker zombie dies. Okay, very, very good. We don't have to worry about that anymore. 
All right, let's slow it down a little bit and see if we can line up to this doctor's office in a way that is advantageous to us. I think we're going to be able to. Uh, what I want to do is back the car up so that it's on that tile right there. And what we can do is just back the Humvee up to where it lines up with the door and just stop right there. Go ahead and turn off the headlights, and then we can walk out the Humvee and into the doctor's office, and we don't have to we don't have to get out, and the zombies can't get through here. They can go through the windows if they figure out what's going on. Uh, hopefully, they will not. All right, uh, let's stop driving and uh, turn off safe mode. I want to talk to Clarissa, and let's just tell her to kind of hang back if we can. Uh, guard this position, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. Uh, see you around. And, uh, yeah, let's let's head on in here and see if we can't find a stethoscope. Uh, lots of little magazines in the lobby. I think we actually have all of these. There's some aspirin. We'll take it. Uh, generally, doctor's offices really aren't that great at uh, at having interesting stuff. Not as great as you would expect. Soap bars, thread. Uh, let's see, there's a ladder going up. Uh, looks like that just goes to the roof. Uh, that goes outside. Water survival training field manual. I feel like we have that. Ambien, antiseptic, cotton balls. Uh, speaking of safes, there's some right there. More antibiotic. And it looks like we're coming up with a bunch of nothing. Did we find everything? I think we did. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, so maybe we're not going to be getting any bonuses, but but that's okay. Uh, any luck? No, not yet. Uh, I need you to come with me. All right, let's go. All right, start up the Humvee again, and let's get out of here. <laughs> Just plow right over him. All right, let's get our headlights turned back on so we're, we can see where we're going. And, yeah, basically we just want to go north a bit, past the craters, and we'll eventually hit a road that we want to turn left on, and that should take us right to the, uh, right to the bank. Um, is this our road? This is our road. All right, so we'll turn down a bit. And then, now that we're on the road, we need to go basically make our second right. Uh, interesting, is this a APC? Let's uh, pull right up next to it. Uh, stop driving. Uh, examine vehicle. Do we have some... Oh, look at all of that. Look at all of that fuel. All right, let's see. I want to A... Uh, where is my rubber hose? Uh, let's let's go ahead and grab it. If I don't have it, it doesn't appear that I do. Uh, where's that? There's one right there. Uh, can we just activate the rubber hose? I know we can do it from uh, the vehicle screen. Uh, 200 liter tank. Uh, fill nearby vehicle, we want to fill that tank. Oh, no, we still have to do it step by step.
I was hoping we could do that a little bit differently. Uh, why did that stop there? Oh, because of that. Okay. Oh, and it did it again. That's green. I mean, it has its uses. I know it's like if it were to go away, there would be a time where you really wished it was there, but it's just 90% of the time it is super annoying. And uh, let's try it from in here. Can we just not not do this? Uh, siphon. No, we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it all. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we get fuel. Um, that's, 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 that's really good. Okay, and let's see. Do we want to... I think we do. I was considering whether to, to basically just keep that open and go with uh, 60 liters on that, but I think... Um, did we did we get it all? Okay, I think we did. All right. Um, Semi annoying, but uh, very very worth it. Uh, Clarissa, did we did we tell you to stay still? No, we didn't. Okay. All right. Let's uh, start back up the vehicle, um, and that should take care of our fuel concerns for a little bit. Another luxury RV, huh? And uh, armored car there. Another luxury RV over here. Uh, which is, this is the turn that we want, right? Yes, it is. Oh, and there's another shocker zombie. Uh, but actually, uh, let's just stop here and wait for a bit. Okay, there's a couple of things going on here. There are uh, security robots in there, uh, which I was kind of wondering how we were going to have to deal with those. I'm hoping maybe the zombies are going to take care of them for us. Yeah, what are you guys what are you guys fighting in there? Uh what was that? Uh was that another NPC? I'm trying to see is there a, a body anywhere? Oh no, that's the that's the security bot there. Uh, damaged corpse of a, a a decayed zombie. Okay. Oh yeah, and that is all filthy. All right. Okay. Um. So they actually killed the robot for us, which is really really good news for us. Um. But unfortunately, that has attracted every zombie in the tri-state area. Which is not what we wanted. Well, actually, if I turn off... Oh, I don't know what I just did. What did I just do? Oh, uh, cruise control. Not concerned. Um, let's stop right there. Um, did I stop driving? I'm confused as to why I moved. Oh, 
is that what cruise control does? Oh, okay. Uh, no, I want I want cruise control. <laughs> I don't want I don't want whatever you're doing. Uh, the car was not behaving the way I was expecting it to. Uh, okay, let's stop driving. Nope. Uh, we want to... There we go. That's what we want right there. I want to stop driving now. I want to talk to Clarissa. Uh, you guard this position. I'll see you around. And uh, you just hold tight there. I will be right back. All right, let's wield uh, the compound bow. And boy, I'm hoping we can just sneak in here real quick. That's not what I wanted to see. Okay, another security robot down there. Hopefully he's going to make his way down here to us. And maybe some of the other zombies will get shot by him. Or us. All right, we know the one up here is dead. Um, what's what's going on here? All nine squares. Oh, okay, there we go. Grab the magazine. I'll leave the Secubot back. Fortunately, uh, this tough zombie is not wanting to let us alone. There we go. Okay, and now we've made it to the vault. Um, bypass the security, yes. Open the vault. Quit and shut down. And, uh, alright. Um, safe deposit box and a pair of copper earrings. <laughs> uh, usually you can get pretty cool stuff in these, uh, bank vaults. And there might be some cool stuff in the safes, but right now I'm just more interested in getting out of here alive, I think. Um, hopefully, we will be able to do that. Um, I'm actually going to go this way. And I think that is the security bot. Uh, let's move it up to a run. Get around here to the back. Hop in the car. Clarissa, are you still there? You are? Uh, let's talk to you. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and turn that in. <laughs> Great, anything I can use to prosecute? Uh, you should, I have another job for you. Um, maybe you can teach me something? Uh, never mind, no, I don't want to, I don't want to learn anything right now. Uh, you come with me. And uh, let's get out of here, and then we'll look at the next uh, quest that you have to offer. I honestly don't know what that is, because I've never made it this far. And uh, really kind of a disappointing little bank run there, if I'm honest. But uh, let's start up the Humvee. We'll turn on the headlights. And uh, what's our next move going to be? I guess we need to kind of get out of here. 
Um, let's see, there's kind of a farm area or maybe like an orchard or something like that off in this area. Um, let's head over in that direction and see if there is a place to kind of hole up for a little while. And uh, maybe we'll figure out what Clarissa's next uh, quest is. We could drop her off, get her out of the car. Whoa. <laughs> that zombie made a skid like 90 degrees. Oh, no. Um, hmm. There's a roadblock right here. Uh, basically, that is uh, two turrets, and uh, they will shoot at us if we try to just pass randomly through there. Uh, we might be able to, since we're in such an armored car, we might be able to just kind of barrel through them. But, uh, oh, I, I hit a tree out in the middle of the field. I don't think that's something I'm willing to risk right now. Trying to get around this tree. There we go. All right, now we should be good. Uh, those roadblocks aren't very uh, effective against us uh, in a situation where it's surrounded by a field. Uh, but in some areas, like that little forest path that was leading to the mansion, I'd mentioned worried about being worried about roadblocks. That's why, because you can it literally will block you off. You will not be able to get through. Unless you do something crazy. Um, what am I looking at there? A triffid. Okay, there must be a Triffid grove close by. They are like plant-based creatures. And if we're heading into Triffid territory, this might not be a very good place for us to hunker down for a little while. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're looking at a farm, a Triffid-infested farm. Um, are they just naturally hostile to us? Yes, they are. Hmm. All right, well, this actually is not a very good farm. Um, I mean, we can break in. Uh, it was mentioned there's a lot of food in here, a lot of wheat that we can get. And uh, we can survive off that for a while. Uh, we'll have to smash it with our Humvee, though. Uh, but sometimes they have, like, farmhouses. I don't think this is the kind of farm that has uh, the farmhouse and the barn. I think it would be more apparent. Why can't we move? Oh, we must have been hung up on that bush. All right. Well, um, that was disappointing. Uh, I was hoping to find a farmhouse there to bunker down in. But, uh, yeah, we just have a whole bunch of nothing. Well, we might run out here and just kind of spend the night on the road, get out of Triffid territory, find a find a place to, to hunker down for a little bit until the morning, and then maybe do some driving and exploration up here. I don't know that there's much up here. Um, any reason to come up here? Not that I'm seeing. Ah, uh, but that, that can take us over to this town. And we might find labs or some other fun stuff on the way. Uh, but either way, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.